And here we go, guys. The final figure, number eight. I don't know why he's number eight listed on here, but it is Superman, Kal-El, Clark Kent, the uh, Blue Boy Scout. I don't know what his other name. The Man of Steel. <laughs> so there's the uh, there's a side of him. Looks good. Looks very heroic, very American, Kansas bred. Let's go ahead and open it up. Superman. And here is Superman. Now out of the box, looks like a, I, there's one thing I do want to address, but uh, the things I like first, color is nice. That insignia on his chest is amazing. It's fantastic. It's great. The uh, proportions of his body, albeit very big, it's the classic Bruce Tim style kind of look. So can't really fix anything there. That's just how Bruce Tim stuff looks like. That is not the camera. That is the actual proportion of his body. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh yeah i've always thought that was weird about superman tv show um yeah the articulation is there it's good it's a uh, not locked um this foot's locked that foot over here it's not locked this one is very stiff the boots over here they move around and uh, not this boot doesn't move around <laughs> so we got to put in the hot water test again um there is no accessory hand on this one um, he has a flight hand, so you can make him kind of like fly out like so, and you know, he's, he's flying. Uh, his head doesn't go up, so that's kind of a problem, especially for this character, because Superman flies. That's kind of his, one of his signature poses, but um, yeah, his head doesn't tilt up, so it, it's kind of a disservice to the, the articulation of this specific character. Nah, that's not, I sound like a total nerdy douche right there, sorry. Um, so uh, things that I don't, that well, and one more thing I do like about this character is uh, his red belt loops. See that right over? That is devil in the details. So Superman has red belt loops, you know? That's uh, how his underwear keeps on the figure and it goes around his belt. He always has. On some figures, someone with the underwear, he that does, that's not a thing and it's like a detail that's sorely missed out on. It's a, uh, but that that's something, that's a uh, kind of a problem. The paint job on here is, it's very good for the most part because uh, most of the figure stuff is um, is very s separate. So of course, there's only one tone on the um, on his uh, arms, so that looks perfect. The the uh, the hands are off. The, the legs over here are not perfect, um, but you know, it's, it's, it's not the greatest paint job on his underwear over here. Uh, the, the insignia though is very spot on, looks very good. Very, very dapper, very vibrant, very brilliant. The Saurus, there you go. The one major thing I do not like about this figure though is this head. <laughs> I just can't get over how, how dumb this head looks. Um, well, for one, he looks like Ditto, the Pokemon. No, doesn't. And then he has the same expression as Batman on this figure. It's just the line. You know, and Superman's supposed to be very happy, very charming, very positive. Instead, he has this mug that's like, he has RBF, like RBF is resting bitch face. That's what he has. So overall, this, this figure is not bad. It's a nice figure to have, especially if you have a Superman collection. Um, you just gotta put in the hot water test and, uh, and you know, don't, don't pose him flying, but it's a good figure. It's not bad. There he is. Good figure, not bad. So there you go, there's the Justice League Unlimited exclusive action figures from the DC Universe website. And overall, it's a great set of figures. They scale well with each other. The likeness of the cartoon is fantastic. The colors are vibrant and, real, and brilliant. Articulation is pretty much the same all across, except for a couple of minute details. Overall, this is something that you should have, have in your collection if you're a DC fan. Uh, albeit it is a bit expensive to have, so watch out for the sales. I got this for $156 separately, but as of today, it is uh, June, I don't know, 15 or so, 16. You can actually get this for 120 bucks on there, the entire set. So, you know, if you have like $120 you want to spare, I would say go for it. It's totally worth your money. Now, I would say that I would need to rank these. That's probably what's kind of interesting about these. The number one figure that I have that, that, that I think is the number one figure is going to be Aquaman, which is kind of weird because uh, not a big Aquaman fan, but that's the best looking one. Um, followed by Martian Manhunter over here um, and Hot Girl. Those are really good. Um, Batman, 
and then on the lower half would probably be the Flash, uh, Green Lantern, and Wonder Woman at the bottom for sure. So uh, Wonder Woman is easily the one that I don't like that much simply because that face, they tried really hard in the face, but it's just, it just comes off a little not on point, not, not where it could be. But there you go, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching this longer video. I know that these things take time to go through and hopefully that this, you'll find this insightful if you want to go ahead and buy this set or not. Until next time, guys, follow me over here on my YouTube channel, as well as on my Instagram at little underscore nerd underscore busters. And don't forget to check out Frank Culture, the usual kind of thing. Until next time, guys, thank you for watching. Adios.